Did somebody call for the hero of Hyrule? Da 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 da. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome back to Golden Dragon Games, I'm your host Rocky2815 and welcome to the first video for the Zelda month. Well actually technically it's Mario slash Zelda month but I already done a Mario video so this is the first Zelda video. I did not actually on a particular release uh, this one because of one figure that I have not finished but I shall give that figure a separate showcase in the near future hopefully depending <coughs> but anyway on to the first figure okay everybody and first figure we got here is Ravio from The Legend of Zelda A Link Between Worlds now all I have changed with this figure is I have swapped his hands out for the yellow from the yellow to um skin coloured hands and also sorry about the light but that was some sort of freak power cut because it is currently raining and pouring outside so now, you may be asking, what have I done to this figure apart from that? You may be able to see a bit of face. And, actually, I know some people who still haven't played Link Between Worlds, so... <clears throat> Spoiler alert! Okay. Is everybody who hasn't played the game to the very end gone for a moment? Okay, right. Of course, as we all know, Ravio is just a low roll version of Link. And uh, I do not have a hairpiece for him. This is a little bit embarrassing, but never mind. So I have redone his face and ears. And that's about it for Ravio. So, back in a moment. Okay, on to the second figure, which is... Princess Hilda. Now, all I have changed about her is her hair. Originally, I thought it was black, but it turns out to be purple. So, I have changed it to purple. I might actually redo her hair again, because I'm sort of a bit mm, about it, actually. And I can't remember if I had the shoulder pads on from the last time. I can't remember. Basic. But basically, that's all I have done to her. So, on to the final figure. Okay, here's the final figure, which is Link. Again, I have substituted his hands for the pale flesh colour, and I cannot remember if I had the ancient bracelet artifact or whatever it's called on him last time, but I have added the Triforce to his left hand, because he is left-handed in this game. But also, I have redone his face, his hair, and his hat, which may need a bit of work on. But also, uh, well, that's what I've done for him, but the uh, figure that I mentioned that I have not finished, well, I've not commenced on yet, which I wanted to show in the showcase, Originally, but like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm going to give it its own separate showcase. And that character is... Oh yeah, uh, spoiler alert if you have not, again, played through the um, to the end of the game. And you know, the credits and blah 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 and seeing the final boss. Because basically I'm trying to recreate the final boss. Okay, is everybody here who hasn't defeated the final boss... Gone for a moment? Good. The figure that I want to create is Yuga Ganon. Which is going to be extremely difficult because of the bulky size. But what I am going to do is grab myself um, a Lego Big Fig Hulk figure, which I will put an image on screen right now. Okay, and we're back. So, yeah, I'm going to use the image I just showed you on screen, one of those big figs, and then 
I will most likely paint instead of sticky label because that would be too much to sticky label for me, honestly. But anyway, thank you everybody for watching this video and of course I cannot say goodbye showing this little guy. I must say goodbye in my normal form or well form whatever um so remember to like favorite share subscribe for more awesome video content and remember everybody to stay golden have a nice day and until next time bye